What the brap is up, little brapsters? It's Cody with two wheels in a tent. And today I'm out on an adventure doing the Utah BDR. But I thought this would be a good time for me to go through part of my sleep system with you. Not saying mine's the best. Just uh, what I've got and thought I'd share it with you. Maybe you can get some ideas. See something you don't have or you like. And also, in the comments below, I would love to know what your sleep system is and how you carry it. Because uh, that is one of the biggest challenges of motorcycle camping. Is your sleeping gear and how you carry it. So, I think you'll be surprised. Let's look at this. I started with this Walmart tackle bag. I think it was under 20 bucks, but it just looked like I could fit stuff in it and then put it in my panniers. So what's inside that? Well, let's check it out. I've got two pillows, a sleeping bag, a sleeping pad, and a sleeping bag liner, all inside this little tackle box. So got the Nemo Philo Luxury, the big one. I like that one. Some mummy bags that doesn't fit in. So I'll use that as an extra or support. Uh, but like for this mummy bag that I have, I'm using the Aeros Pillow Sea to Summit because it fits right in the hood perfectly. Then I have the Sea to Summit Thermalite Fabric Reactor Extreme. This guy gives you about 10 to 15 degrees more comfort. Actually used it last night, it was about 45 degrees. Uh, the sleeping bag I'm gonna show you is rated at 35, which doesn't really mean 35. We all know that by now. But with this liner and that sleeping bag, it was great. And then I've got the Nemo Tensor. I am loving this thing. It's uh, about three inches thick when inflated fits in my tackle box and uh, I keep blowing it up all the way like really firm which I don't love but the uh, air inlet and outlet you can undo while you're on it and let some air out and not kill the whole thing it's awesome it was 27 degrees felt like 20 ish the weather channel said stayed pretty warm as far as comfort on the Nemo Tensor, I'd give it a 7 so far. I might get used to it a little more. It's not bad, definitely not bad at all. But keep in mind I'm coming from a Sea to Summit self-inflating Comfort Plus, which is almost like a waterbed. Only problem with that is it kept leaking because you have to roll it up so tight to get into that stupid bag they give you. And uh, that's where I'm at. And just to touch the top of it, it's it's cold. But like I said, I stayed pretty darn warm considering I couldn't even stand outside. It was frigid. Very adjustable, very compact, very comfortable. Especially if you're a side sleeper, which most of us sleep on our side i think and then the secret the star of the show Doo -doo -doo. what is that it is my sea to summit spark two but this sea to summit spark two sleeping bag is rather awesome it is so lightweight and so compact i mean you can't even buy a cheap 50 degree Walmart that compacts as small as this does The rating is 35 degrees on the sea to summit spark 2 uh, I wouldn't want to be sleeping in 35 degrees in it honestly I would sleep in 35 degrees with this sea to summit liner that I have down sleeping bag i mean look at this thing Woo. 
it's pretty comfortable but i am dubbing it my summer sleeping bag uh i'm sure like down in the valley of the gods moab uh, in the summer this would be great uh, when it gets below 50 you can use the liner like i did last night i mean like i said it was 45 or so and and i was just fine but you get much colder than that you're gonna have to bulk up and go with a bigger bag unfortunately so and then the tackle box so we've got the sleeping bag sleeping pad sleeping bag liner pillow number one and pillow number two all inside the tackle bag not too shabby like I said it's not the best but it is pretty cool that it is that size that's why I look forward to summer so much so I don't have to carry so much bulk but anyway I hope you enjoyed uh, the links are in the description below if you want to check it out um, that way you know exactly what I'm using and leave in the comments your sleep system and how you carry it because I'm always looking for better ways so thanks for joining I hope that helped you out a little bit I've got a big adventure ahead of me like I said I am just heading south to start the Utah BDR and I'll probably be doing about half of it because snow is covering the rest currently so anyway Stay safe and come join the adventure, baby!